Today we're just going to start mixing up some thin set. We're going to lay some tile down. I always double check to make sure you get the right product. Talk to a professional or somebody who knows. Um, the product I'm using is a, it's a thin set mortar. So it only sets in thin amounts. And it's, it's polymer, uh, polymer modified, which means the polymers are actually like a glue that's in it. So that way it'll bond to concrete, bond to plywood and whatnot. So all I'm gonna do is, I, if you, you can go by the directions if you want for the amounts of water. I'm just gonna throw in about an inch worth of water at the bottom. And I'm just going to mix it to uh, the consistency that I like. Okay. You always add water first. It's easier to mix. If you put your powder in first and then put water on top, it like takes the mortar to the bottom of the pail. Pretty good consistency, but I'm gonna just add some more water. I kind of want a full pail. The one thing to follow on the bag though is it'll tell you to mix it for five minutes, wait ten, and then mix it for another two. And that's you wanna you wanna actually listen to those directions for sure. By mixing it, it activates the polymers, and the polymers need air to dry, just so you know. I'm just gonna add a little more to that. I want the consistency so that when I trowel it down, it doesn't flatten totally out. Give that a rough. I'm gonna check with my trowel. It's a little bit runny. It actually is kind of like when you squish it around in the pail. I want it to be a bit stiffer. Before I do my five minutes worth of mixing, I want to make sure I got consistency that I want. If you look in the pail, when I make those marks, they pretty much stay there. So I'll mix that for five minutes. I'll wait, let it set up for ten. I'll mix it for two more again, and then we'll start tiling. So that'll be good. <laughs> 